You say you're going to boost wages for early childhood educators and get to parity. What does that mean? How much are you, how much are you boosting? <laughs> They are, um, there has been a recent announcement, so there's a little bit of a, a, a reshuffle on the numbers, but effectively um, early childhood educators have not had a substantive pay raise since the wage grid came into place. They are $7 behind where they should be to be on parity with um, other professionals who have the same education, um, and so we are actually proposing to bring them up to parity. Um, over a two-year period. So it would be um, a 50% of the wage gap will be met in the first year and, and the remainder in the second year. So by the end of 2020-2021, we would be at, um, at parity and also work with the Early Childhood Education Association to, um, to rebalance that wage grid so it accurately reflects different pay scales for those with different skill sets. Um, we also need to add in um, an appropriate um, wage for um, special, special needs educators who are currently actually only paid minimum wage because they're not on the wage grid at all. So it's, it's really working closely with the partners to make sure that it reflects what they know that their, 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 um, their staff need. But we know if we can get those wages stabilized, we will stop losing the educators who are leaving right now because they're only getting paid $14 an hour. Um, and we can show them that we value them by putting our money where our mouth is and saying, yeah, you know, our kids' education and you as our kids' educators really matter. Mm -hmm. And for, for the three and a half million dollars that that costs, um, it's a bit of a no-brainer, to be perfectly honest. Mm -hmm. 